The way we interact with AI is changing. Text was only the beginning. Welcome to the multimodal era, where AI understands the world through images, videos, and continuous streams of information. In this video, we'll explore the multimodal capabilities of Google AI Studio, like generating rich content from diverse inputs, understanding vast amounts of information, and even reacting in real time. So let's get started with long context. Google AI Studio and Gemini excels in this area. Long context refers to a model's ability to process and understand a very large amount of information within a single prompt or conversation. An AI model's context window is sort of like its short-term memory. It's measured in tokens, which are roughly words or parts of words. This window determines how much information the model can consider at once when generating a response. Now, historically, the amount of tokens a large language model could handle was limited, but new Gemini models come with larger context windows and can handle 1 million or even 2 million tokens. To put that into perspective, 1 million tokens equals approximately 50,000 lines of code, all the text messages you have sent in the last five years, eight average length English novels, or transcripts of over 200 average length podcast episodes. So it goes without saying that these models can handle a lot. Not long ago, long context video capabilities were relatively limited due to the lack of accessibility of the medium itself. Now with new Gemini models, long context text capabilities translate to the ability to reason and answer questions about multimodal inputs with sustained performance. Some emerging and standard use cases for video long context include question and answer, memory, meaning the ability of a model to retain and recall information, captions, recommendation systems by enriching existing metadata with new multimodal understanding, customization by analyzing content and then removing parts that are not relevant to the viewer, content moderation, and real-time processing. Now, if you've used Gemini before, you might know that it has several different talents. This includes both images and videos. Imogen is fantastic for generating photorealistic and artistic images. And Gemini Flash experiments can mix images right into text responses. The usual prompt advice applies. Be descriptive. And here's how to level up. Paint the picture. Don't just say dog. Say a fluffy golden retriever puppy sitting in a field of daisies, soft morning light, shallow depth of field. Think subject, setting, style, and even camera details. Need text? Imogen can add text to images. Keep it short and sweet like a cup of coffee with a text good morning written neatly. Exclude stuff. Use negative prompts to tell it what not to include. Negative prompt. Blurry, low quality. Google AI Studio can also generate video clips. And this is where things get really exciting. VO is Google's powerful video generator. You can type a description and get a short video clip or even bring a still image to life. Whether you're generating from text or from images, be a director. Describe the scene, who or what is in it, what they are doing, the camera movement and the vibe, like a cinematic moody lighting. Before jumping into a demo, let's explore one more amazing capability of Google AI Studio, real-time streaming. This is where things go from, wow, that's cool, to, whoa, is this the future? You can even point your camera or even stream your screen directly into Google AI Studio and the model understands the response as it happens. It's not just analyzing the past, it's reacting to the present. It's like, instead of showing your friend a recording of you building that next level Lego castle, you could ask, hey Gemini, what piece should I look for next? While you're still building, and Gemini comes back with an answer. Look for six two by four gray bricks. Let me know when you find and place them and I'll help you with the next step. This isn't just about feeding the AI information anymore. It's about having a dynamic conversation with it using live video and audio. It turns Google AI Studio from just an analysis tool 
into a potential real-time collaborator or an instant feedback machine. This framing capability changes the game for how we interact with AI. Okay, so enough talk about these amazing capabilities. So here we are in Google AI Studio, and we are going to add a relatively long video and then prompt the model to perform a few specific tasks. So let's click the plus icon in the chat prompt interface. And this is coming from YouTube. So let's click that YouTube video, paste the video URL here, and click Save. Now let's design our prompt and keep it simple for now and ask the model to provide a detailed summary, including main points, supporting evidence, and any conclusions. And let's run this. Okay, and let's be patient. It does have to watch through a 22-minute video. And now we have some results. Okay, wow, just as instructed, the model provided a detailed summary, very detailed with main points, evidence, and some conclusions. This output is structured very nicely as well. And the model essentially watched the 22-minute video in about a minute. Okay, so let's switch gears and check out another capability. And this will be a nice segue into the next video in this course, where you will learn to prototype your own app. So let's click the Build tab. And this will pull up an interface with demo apps. More on this in the next video, so stay tuned. But for now, we are going to show some of the spatial understanding and object detection capabilities of Google AI Studio. Gemini models have a strong understanding of objects and their visual representations. So this is essentially a prototype of an app that can detect objects in an image. In the simple example, the prompt is asking for the position of the items in the image and for the model to add 2D bounding boxes around them. When we send this to the model, we can see that it's added 2D bounding boxes and labeled what each item is. And if we click the code icon, we could see the behind-the-scenes code for what's actually making this work. And this is something you can use in your own applications to leverage the power of Gemini models. In the next video, we'll continue this discussion and dive deeper into the world of app prototyping with Google AI Studio. This is where things get really exciting. So we'll see you there.